Hello Youtubers! This video is a small lesson on how to create a pulse generator and area of use of it. To make a pulse generator I am going to use a CPU's built-in 1 byte memory area and that memory area is called clock memory area. Uh, the question is what is clock memory? It's an allocated 1 byte memory area that is divided in two bits and the binary state of those bits changes from true to false states on the regular periods of time at the ratio of 1 to 1. Okay, so it means that uh, half of uh, the period at the state of the bit is true and uh, another half of the period the bit states is false. Now let's have a look at uh, this uh, memory area. Okay, here I have an Excel file uh, and as you can see this is a one byte of memory clock that is divided into eight bits. Bit number zero, uh, its uh, state changes at the speed of 10 Hz, uh, which is equal to 100 milliseconds. Uh, bit number one changes at uh, 5 Hz, which equal, equals to uh, 200 millise milliseconds. Uh, bit number two at uh, the speed of 2.5 Hz and 400 milliseconds bit uh, 3 at uh, 2 Hz and uh, <coughs> half a second bit number 4 is at uh, 1.25 Hz and 800 milliseconds uh, bit 5 is 1 Hz and 1 second and bit 6 is at uh, 0 0.625 Hz and 1.6 seconds and the last one bit number 7 is at a uh, half of the hertz hertz, hertz and uh, which is equal to 2 seconds okay now uh, let's see where to find that uh, clock memory so open your uh, hardware configuration click on the cpu and in the properties tab then general tab scroll down to the system and clock memory oops sorry okay and here you have a clock memory option bit, clock memory bits option so just uh, check this mark to enable it and it will add automatically these tags to your table to your tag table okay all right now let's let's have a quick look how this clock memory works okay so as you can see the state of uh, the bits is uh, changing on the regular time but on a different period so now let's see uh, the possibilities of uh, usage of uh, that um, that uh, pulse generators or memory clock or whatever you call it so actually it can be used to simulate flashing indicators uh, movement simulation just creating timers recording of actual values on uh, constant time periods and uh, so on so the first example is um, simulation of the of the flashing indicator which can be used in your scatter systems okay let's go online and the com 
compilation takes a little bit time so okay so now as you can see it uh, blinks on the bit number is zero so it is 10 Hertz now bit number one bit number two number three number four number five as you can see the period changes number six and number seven Also, you, as I already told you, you can use it uh, for um, for movement simulation, which you can find in the one of my previous videos. Okay, so that was about uh, flashlight. Ah, okay, so it is starting another. Clicked a couple of times. Okay, so another runtime instance. Okay, now, now the next, uh, the next thing I'd like to show you is a timer. Okay, so here is my timer. First of all, I'm going to set it to ten seconds. I'm using here a 10 Hertz, uh, 10 Hertz bit, so it will be, oops, sorry, so it will be 10 seconds. reached 10 seconds and uh, gave an output uh, set an output uh, to the state of true and the counting stopped of course I can reset and it starts to count again so this is the basic usage of the on the on delay timer of course you can do it as a pulse timer or a or off delay timer and so on right now the next example is um, uh, a writing of uh, memory oh, sorry writing some data to or to the data block or somewhere else I don't know it's up to you on the regular periods of time and you can do a data analysis later on so let's see how it works okay here I have an array of uh, 100 elements of data type integer and I'm going to save it on the regular time of the period okay So let's start it. Modify it one. Okay, as you can see, it's adding. So here you can save uh, data like uh, temperature of the motor or speed or I don't know any other data you'd like to, and you can analyze it later on. So that is that on on the pulse generators and uh, thank you for watching